how we deal with ourselves, how about consciousness, about um, frustration, about our feelings. So if I save myself, then I save the world. If everybody would uh, save himself and, and herself to do what um, the best can be. of contemporary Hungarian artist Maria Chilf are deeply philosophical, intense, and keenly sensitive to the human condition. Her body of work is an illustrated encyclopedia of human dilemma and a powerful commentary on one search for the self. Here, the emotions, the human, the, the taboos, which we can, things which we should not speak about. If you don't deal with, that's, that becomes, danger, becomes dangerous. So, uh, there is this Heidegger saying, when, when you cannot talk, it's better to not talk about. Amiről nem lehet beszélni, arról hallgatni kell. The thing that you cannot talk about, but to, to, to be silent is not allowed. It's not good to do that. I know that the only thing which helps to transform it to, it's like therapy also, but uh, also psychologically, but also mentally. Often inspired by the artist's intense personal experience with hardship and trauma, communism, the Nazi regime, forced labor, accident, cancer, suicide, Maria's installations, watercolors, and graphics are metaphors for human experience. But it was about trauma, and uh, I drew the, on the wall uh, line. It was the base was a psychological test uh, drawing, uh, and I put many many images. So I, I took this 20 meter long wall, like my life lifelong panel, and I put uh, the years, like each each part it's a year, and I I made a big collage about traumas, but these traumas could be also my, I mean, memories, uh, um, but mixed. In her early 20s, Maria fled to Hungary from her birthplace in communist Romania with her late husband and artist, Gabor Sergei. She attended the Hungarian University of Fine Arts in Budapest and has exhibited her work in public and private collections in Hungary and abroad since the 1990s. So I always work with personal themes, which are important, which mainly, uh, I can say 12 years ago, my husband died. And that was a bit, a big trauma for me. And then I started a theory of uh, aquarelles where I, I, I worked with this team, but even though my personal feelings, of course, and my readings and trying to understand what, how could happen, I mean, it was a suicide, so uh, to understand, to try to understand what was this, uh, I read a lot, psychology, and, and then I started a series of work, which is, uh, my story, but can be anybody's story because it's about trauma, how we deal with ourselves, about um, uh, frustration, about our feelings, and, and that's everybody's 
problem that somehow we try to change the other one, but we cannot deal with our problems. And uh, that's the most important, that we should work each on ourselves. Maria's exhibits are often collaborative and they entice viewers to take part in the artist's own experience of the world she inhabits and interprets. Keep Smiling was shown in Budapest's Viltan Gallery in 2010. Sometimes uh, we'll just start to do and then when the, the result comes or a surprise that somehow works, new ideas comes and it, uh, then I feel I'm in another level of mind, then, then it becomes more interesting than what is inside me or what is, how can I think about this theme or, or it's always some questions which moves me. Of course, when I make an exhibition, I always do new things and I like to do new things for the situation, for the space, for the circumstances. The huge painting, Gastarbeiters, which means guest workers in German, juxtaposes the bodies of workers with the artwork of guest contributors, whose small, random works replace the workers' empty faces. Each uniform is labelled with the name of the guest artist. So I took a picture as a base, uh, uh, Chinese miners, and uh, I enlarged, I mean, not the photo, but I projected and I did a, a painting out of it. But the painting uh, had no faces. I didn't make the face. But I invited friends who were artists at, for this series. I covered the bodies and so they, they could not see anything that they so they couldn't see that it will be a face or what. And each uh, made a, a drawing or a painting. And finally, I showed them that it's a face. And Maria's exhibit, Transitory Objects, is a personal time capsule inspired by a family history she discovered only as an adult. Inferior Secrets of Body demonstrates the artist's unique watercolor technique, in which many layers of intermingled pigments represent the flow of life blood and other bodily tissues. Events affected my, my view, of course, and, and I, I, somehow in painting I couldn't uh, catch that what I wanted and it was not enough for me to work with and I, I just started to play with uh, material. I used, uh, I, I started to work with wax it had this symbolic meaning of material, somehow conservation, and it was somehow these materials, or I mixed with ma organic materials, it was about conservation, about death, about passing time, about somehow this theme which was very important for me at that time. Maria would continue to experiment with various mediums. Her video, Double Trouble, is an instrument of introspection, trouble as a guarantee of survival. The burdened landscapes deals with the relationship between nature and the artificial. This work is a very personal uh very personal work for me that that works with a family trauma because uh, we know that uh, family traumas are hidden so when i was child i was playing in the garden when she were where she was buried in, uh, under a tree it was a small garden but for me that was a nice uh, memory so i have nothing bad with her and uh, now on, when I, I, I'm older and I tell this story, what happened with her, I always uh, uh, start to cry. So she was 15 when in the Second World War she was shooted by accident. So Germans shooted her because they saw that is somebody. And she died and she was the favorite of the parents. And that's a big trauma in the family.
that I did a video I brought to the Danube and I burned it. But I was so fair that I have to close one period and I have to, uh, th this will be the end so that Otfried will burn. And then I took a video of it, uh, how it burned. It was a very tragic moment and I invited a, a friend of mine, a photographer, and on the end she was so moved. We were almost crying. Really, it was like the, uh, uh, the process is, was there. So it was, we knew that it's, a, it's an object which is burning, but it had a presence. It was really amazing how it affected us. And it, this transformation, what comes out through doing the work and through these processes, uh, this is work on ourselves, which I have to, we have to do or I have to do. And, and this transformation makes sense for me. Maria continues to contemplate nature, life and death in Budapest, where she is a professor at the Fine Arts Academy. The city gave her opportunities to develop her talent opportunities that were not possible in her past. That's my home and, and what makes me very sad, I like Budapest, I like to be here, I have my home, my studio, my job, everything I have here, but when I see that so many friends of mine and so many young people and uh, people just go away from this city, and from this country, I have to say, then makes me, becomes this memory from my youth when, when suddenly I just realized in Maros Vesere that all my, my friends left and I'm just the only one almost who is here. <laughs>